PR companies are always trying something new to get your attention. I'm on the corner of 31st and 6th for what's been billed as a top secret public stunt. It was inspired by Frozen Grand Central, the prank by Charlie Todd of Improv Everywhere. Participants stood motionless in black t-shirts and sunglasses in the middle of the crosswalks and pushed the limits of the don't walk sign, and was designed to draw attention to some billboards featuring work by New York City artists including Ron English. I love causing trouble. It's uh, my profession. I'm most famous for doing like illegal billboards around the country. Like I did the Think Different campaign, but the other half of the campaign that had Hitler and Charles Manson. And I did the Joe Camel campaign, but I did the kid version, Joe Camel Jr. Today it's just like a big art piece kind of sponsored by Ray-Ban to celebrate their new colorized sunglasses. It sounds a little corporate for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not anti-corporate. It's just, you know, like I just do what I want to do and I say what I want to say. Hey, do you know what's going on here? I don't What's what are, going what are on? Doing in the road? I have no idea. I just saw them with the t-shirts. I don't know. See the t-shirts? I have no idea. I guess they tried on this the, the sunglasses. I saw something about sunglasses. That's about it. Frozen Grand Central has more than 12 million views on YouTube and succeeded in making New Yorkers stop and think. In this case, most of the confusion was hired and the press riser took away the surprise. How come you're not wearing black? Oh, I'm. I don't know. I guess I didn't wear black. I don't know what these guys are doing. It's kind of weird. Do you know what this is right here? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Well, what's going on here, sir? They can do a better job of blocking traffic than this. I'm not worried about it. Like these guys. Hey, guys. All right. <laughs> While traffic was only delayed for a few moments, they were able to turn a few heads and get the cameras on. For the NYPost.com, I'm Dave Desario.